<laughs> Welcome to This Week in Anime History, where we talk about things that happened this week in anime history. And we're going to go on a roller coaster ride this week. Oh, boy. Um, July 21st, 1983, was the premiere of Barefoot Gen in Japan. Oh. Yeah. Who would like to summarize Barefoot Gen for, for the audience? Uh, oh, God. <clears throat> Oh God! Uh, uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, oh, oh God! War, uh, so war sucks. It's, it's atomic war, war sucks. really super sorry, sucks. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Surviving so atomic told, war really war super sucks. Really sorry, sucks. <clears throat> Sadness, so, pain, yeah, fire, crying, not, crying. Um, yeah. So if you if you ever wanted to read the story from the point of view of a young boy who's what eleven or twelve years old yeah. who survives the nuclear <clears throat> um, attack. Um, and when I say survive, he's actually there for it. Yeah. And 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 what the immediate graphic yes. aftermath of that in a manga form, if you want to hurt yourself and you don't want to cut yourself, this is what you would do instead. Oh, this is just um, emotional pain, Steve. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, no, um, it's actually... Um, something that should be read um it's 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 relevant it's it's actually you know if if you want to get an idea of that um oh, what, what's so bad about war well read this because it's about the the after effects of war so it's not just it's not just we're dealing with okay here's the war that you know like we were talking about idion and and, and gundam this is what happens to regular people mm -hmm. after the stuff happens and the fact that Life does not go on normally afterwards. Yeah, yep. and it's and it's horrific. And I cannot stress enough: it is very graphic. This is not for yes. the kids. Yeah, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I wouldn't necessarily recommend watching Grave of the Fireflies and Barefoot Gen at the same, oh. same time. Yeah, oh. but yeah. it's probably you know. I, I also In wouldn't vein, pair it with yeah. like Kiki's Delivery Service or Totoro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, be aware. Um, yeah. a year later, exactly 21st July 1984, we got the release of the Macross movie. Do you remember Love? Yay! Okay. Um, who wants to describe this movie? <laughs> John, why don't you uplift everybody now that I'm getting oh, everyone just it's a got downer. song and deliciousness? It's wonderful, and, <laughs> and everybody and battles, dies. and everybody dies. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I mean, and this is, you know, just we've just gone through Idiom. We've got the Idiom movies that mm -hmm. respond to the Idiom fan base. Do You Remember Love is an entire gorgeous gift, big mm. gift package. Mwah, smack right in the mouth for Macross fans so that yeah. you get a slice of like the end of Macross. You get a slice of the great mm -hmm. big giant cataclysmic battle and not a ton of fill in on who the heck anybody is but right you yeah. know again like idiot if you are a macross fan this is like it's gorgeously animated for its time mm -hmm. it is just uh, i'd be to the point where it's like i've been searching for their veritech mech and stuff that's in that film only one time mm -hmm. for less than 20 seconds it's like it drives you it's so good at what it does for all those people mm -hmm. who are so totally into it that it just it oh mm. I enthuse. Mm -hmm. Oh, watch it. It's lovely. And? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Um, that happened. Um, moving on a few years <laughs> later um, to the arrest of Tutomu Miyazaki, the otaku murderer. Um, oh, yeah. Which must be remembered. Um, he, uh, I will say this much. Um, kidnapped several little girls and did very bad things to them um, and was arrested and was discovered to have been a huge otaku um, and of not just a, not just the normal anime stuff but of some particular um, yeah. things um, and this kicked off a huge um, conversation in Japan about sort of anime and manga in general and the um, the permissiveness of what is shown and 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 uh, 
provided on television. For example, um, violence in shonen anime got toned down after this, this event um, because of you know, concerns about that. And um, there's a lot of, of kind of talk and conversation about, um, and, I, and it wasn't, you know, anime should be banned, but it was, is there an extreme element of anime right. manga that we should be concerned about? Um, so it did, it did definitely change things. Well, I mean, that's like the Tipper Gore thing mm, with right. the explicit lyrics in music, you know, and the. Right. I wouldn't. And, no, it, it wasn't the quite yeah. on that level. It was more along the lines of, as an actual talk and that the industry itself kind of self-regulated. Um, as and, 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 to, and, yeah, and, and, I was, and you know, Tipper Gore, uh, um, there was no specific event that Tipper Gore was responding right. to. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, where, well, like, but a horrific in, thing happened. But in its time, there were plenty of it, like uh, uh, D. Snyder. Uh, his testimony before Congress and talking mm. about yeah. uh, events where people said, "Oh, listening to Ozzy Osbourne, Crazy Train, mm. I, I went, I lost my mind, and I like, you know, killed two people." And it's like mm. that—that that was a part of that contemporary discussion at the okay, time about yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this music. It just it mm -hmm. it fuels insanity for people who are just susceptible to that, mm -hmm. you know. It, along with the play the Beatles album backwards, and it says Paul oh, yeah, is yeah. dead, and it there's right. demonic. All of that kind of coalesced into that same time period. You also saw, um, I think that I think it was also around the same period of time that you saw the educational television mm. act uh, sort of promulgated in Congress, which was to mm. make instead of having just stupid nonsensical uh, morning Saturday morning cartoons, mm. that they started pushing the idea that you had to have messages and you had to have not just ridiculous cartoon violence, mm. that you had to have some kind of redeeming element to it. Mm which was the sort of kickoff where you now you don't see ABC, NBC, CBS with, with any kind of real substantive 1970s, 1980s cartoons start out for Saturday morning cartoons. Yeah, I, I wouldn't go that far because, you know, there, there wasn't that kind of pushback and there wasn't that kind of kind of censorship, if you will. Um, um, I can't remember what the article was. I was saying Disney specifically for ABC chopped their Disney's one Saturday morning. Because of the educational requirements, they felt right. they weren't able to deliver on exactly. that. So exactly. that they started going through a sports center. Right. And exactly. they started going like more live action kind of things that they could get away from the the regulatory idea about, you know, you need to do these things with your stuff. And they're like, nope. Exactly my point. Like, there was no regulation that came out of this in Japan. Like, the, the, this was not right. a. Well, but I'm just saying, it's like, you know, the idea of these things where it's like, conceptually that this guy was fueled by these things it's like yeah you know, we had some of those mm -hmm. similar yeah. kind of concepts yeah. in that time period mm -hmm. yes very very true yes exactly um i just thought his mugshot he looked perpetually confused <laughs> it was it was he was a it was an interesting i mean if, if you want to dig into it like the you, there's certainly it's an interesting details. story yeah interesting like story. if you're if you're um, into true crime give it a look but yeah otherwise exactly. it's 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 bad, disturbing, um, yeah. extremely disturbing. Um, yeah, he knew what he was doing. Yeah, put it that way. Yeah. Um, moving on from one low to another, um, <laughs> July eighteenth, twenty nineteen, is the anniversary of the Kyoto Animation Fire. Yeah, yeah. Um, where a, a lone man set fire to um, one of the buildings of Kyoto Animation, um, and uh, a number of people um, died in the fire. A number were, were injured, obviously as well. Uh, led to Kyoto Animation being put on hold for uh, a, quite a while as they recovered, uh, and then kind of got back into steam, but pushed back a lot of a lot of work, um, and just very sad. Um, and if it just came came from somebody who apparently just like they weren't answering his letters in a way he appreciated, so very sad, but must be remembered. Like these things happened, they happened, and and I don't want to just. You'd be consigned to history forever. So let's end on Spirited Away. Uh, July 20th, please. One was the premiere <laughs> of Spirited Away in Japan. Hayao Miyazaki's final film before um, his tenth tenth retirement. Yeah, but, but before his next final film, right? Yeah. Um, uh, famously inspired by um, some of his friends' uh, children, and seeing there like wasn't a lot of um, um, stories about that period in life where you're um, no longer a child, you're starting to think about what your future is going to be like and you have to 
start maturing, you know, out of, of, of childhood uh, and what that's like. And so it was very much him uh, kind of exploring those themes in a very fantastical, fun way. Um, and it's really, really, uh, really remarkable film and definitely also remarkable for the fact that it, it got a, um, a, not a wide release, but a f fairly, fairly spread out release in America. Yeah. So a lot of folks got a chance to go and actually see that in theaters, uh, which was really awesome to be able to actually see a Miyazaki movie in theaters. It was probably the first one. Like Monoraki got a, a, a theater release, but it was pretty small. Um, it was probably the, the first like significant theater release for a Miyazaki film. And definitely, I know a lot of folks you know, were like, I've heard of this Miyazaki guy. Let me go see that movie. Yeah. And that was, that was their chance to kind of get introduced to, to Miyazaki. Uh, and arguably, kind of introduced him, especially his family films, to the U.S. And a lot of a lot of kids grew up in Spirited Away because of that release, which is awesome. Um, anyone want to summarize Spirited Away? Not dark. Yeah, <laughs> and there's some dark moments, but definitely not. No, definitely no, not no, Bedford Ken. No. No naked space babies, no nuclear holocaust. No. Don't take gold from a guy called No Face. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Have I told you guys the, the Adam Savage story of No Face? Have I mentioned that on stream before? I think you've said it before, and I remember okay. seeing a video about him going around okay. San Diego Comic Con. I thought it was. Gotcha. Wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Um, if anyone doesn't, uh, uh, Google Adam Savage No Face speech. He has an interesting story about. Going around as living. Um, but yes. Um, do 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 do. We're looking at do the comments again. As right, Spirit Away is coming back to theaters in October, uh, mm -hmm. in US in, in the US. So if you want to guys want to check that out uh, in theaters, that's a it's a good movie, a good mm -hmm. theater movie. Um, definitely a, a big big experience. I wonder if it'll go into IMAX. Ooh. Oh, geez. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That bath has to be kind of overwhelming in uh, in, in, in that. Um, should we also be pointed around? I, I always appreciate the fact that in, in Spirit Away, um, you know, you have a an anime movie set at a bathhouse, and yet you you only see, like, gods without clothes on. Like, yeah. Classy. Thank you, Miyazaki. I appreciate that. <laughs> Um, especially considering Totoro, we're like five minutes in and you have the entire family taking a bath. It's like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's all the news for this week. Thanks for watching. See you next week.